Problems for the Hillary Clinton campaign have Democrats calling for full disclosure from the FBI. This morning we're talking with the chairman of the Hamilton County Democratic and Republican parties about these new developments. Democratic Party Chair Tim Burke is up first. Tim, good morning. Good morning. Glad so so what did you think when you heard about this uh, letter well, from J James Comey to Congress about was, the, the emails? It was surprising that he would mm -hmm. come out with a letter at this point with no details in it, no suggestion that these are even emails from Hillary's computer and they appear not to be based on what's being said now. And the fact that apparently the letter was delivered to Republican members of Congress before it was released to Democratic members of Congress. There's problems with that. Uh, so what happens from here? What, what does she have to, it, it's happened now. Uh, she has to react to it. Uh, what is the well, what, what Hillary has said is release the darn emails. Let us see what you're talking about. Because we don't, we on the Democratic side, we on the Hillary Clinton side don't know. The public doesn't know. We believe that it's no more inform no new information. Do you think just the mystery surrounding this though is is enough for enough to hurt her chance of becoming well, president? It, it's certainly been enough to attract the interest of the news media to emails again. I think the public is fed up with this email issue. Um, I think it's over and done. But certainly it's reason for cause and the campaign has redoubled its efforts to deal with the matter and they're doing that. Um, what I saw this weekend in terms of the turnout at the Board of Elections where we had roughly 3,500 people vote at the Board of Elections this weekend, the public is enthusiastic. They want to get out and vote. They want to be part of the decision. In these states that do have the early voting, I guess it wouldn't be as much of an issue uh, if you could mobilize the base to get out and vote. Certainly that's what the Democrats want to do is get people out to vote early so it's over and done yeah. and they don't have to worry about getting out to vote on Election Day when you never know what's going to happen to prevent you from being able to vote. A lot day. of polls out this morning show that, that people who are already supporting Hillary Clinton are not going to change their minds about that. But what about the many undecided well, voters? That, that's a question for all of us. Uh, the undecided voters have had a lot to think about in this election from Donald Trump and all of the stupid and racist and ugly things that he has said about people. They can think about that or they can think about Hillary Clinton using a personal server. I, I kind of uh, I don't want to ask this question because this, uh, this season has been so unusual. What do you expect over the next week? <laughs> that given how crazy this election has been, it's been unlike any other election I've ever seen in any presidential election any of us have ever seen or hope to see, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I hope that things will stay calm. I hope that this idiot suggestion that Trump supporters should go to election places and look at people and make sure they're doing things. They don't have any right to do that. Observers are officially appointed by the Republican and Democratic Party. They know what their limits yeah. are. These Trump people don't know what their limits are. Tim Burke, thank you so much. And again, we'll hear from uh, the Republican Party chair in our next